In this example, we will see how to record a mobile screen. Right. So basically, why we want that? The reason behind that is like whenever we execute our APM script on mobile, every time we, we don't need to see how and how our test has been executed. Right. So for that, what we can do here is we can start recording our test right so and what is the reason behind that so basically sometimes what happen is like when you execute your script right so basically when when you do a testing of your app that in between your script execution suppose some alert message has been occurred right and you have not handled that particular error message or uh, alert message in your script so script may fail right and in your script execution results you don't get any specific results why your script has been failed right so for that what you need to do is you need to again ex start executing it and you need to see why your script has been failed right so better you can save your time by recording your script and if everything goes perfectly then you can delete the video right so let's see so this is my galaxy note 3 device which i have connected and done a screen screen mirroring using a side sync app you can watch my other videos where i have uh, I have described the steps how to configure the side sync and do a mirroring of your mobile right fine so now what you need here is you need to download a Monty jar right there's a third party jar which you need to download it right so Monty media library to selenium right so you need to download this actually go to this website right this is a website where you can find out the monty jar you can download from this link and here you will get all the details how to configure it and how to use this particular class right so there is a one class called screen recorder which we are going to use it you just need to copy paste this particular class right so this is a class which we need to download it right so you just download it and copy paste this class which I have already done it so how to do that so let me expand this and here what you need to do is download the jar file after download what you need to do here is right click on your project go to properties write java build path and go for add external jar right once wherever your jar has been located give that location right so this is the name of that jar monty screen recorder dot jar fine click OK after that right so configuration of the libraries are done now you need to create I have already created a class called Chrome browser test.java right you just need to click on source and I have created under Chrome so this is a Chrome and just you need to do right click and you need to create it sorry I have not created under that I have created under here right Chrome browser test fine so let me try to explain you what all things we have used it so here these are the basic capabilities you can go through my other videos to know how, what are what are all these capabilities and why we need to use it and what we need to use it right so so uh, these are the capabilities common capabilities which we need to use it and apart from that i have 
added a class called screen recorder which is copied from this location this is a class which i have created it and copy pasted it right so you just copy paste full class and copy paste paste in the eclipse right so this is a class let me open it right the same thing i have copy pasted it right so apart from this we need to create two methods called start recording and stop recording fine so these details also you will get it from this location right start recording and stop recording these two things you need to copy paste it fine i have copy pasted it after copy paste you just need to edit the screen dimensions which we need it right so i have already given this height width and height so what it will do is it will only capture the specific screen right we don't need full screen uh, full screen right so we need a specific screen or i can say specific to this particular location right so i'm going to only capture these things or else if you are using a if you are using a uh, side screen uh, side sync app you can directly go for maximizing it and you can capture the full screen so it will capture full screen right now i'm going to show you how to capture only this part of screen right so you need to find it out what is the resolution for this particular screen right so i have already detected it and i have provided 364 and uh, height should be 648 right so okay fine and where uh, where my videos are going to be stored is this location right current folder under slash videos right go to this location this is the location where our my videos is going to be stored let me refresh it right so there are no videos as such right okay let me try to execute the script let me start the apm server let's be with me okay apm server has been started right so let me start the script right okay click okay and right here the script should start executing it see here now it's got started let's wait for the completion of the test browser has been kept open it should navigate to selenium qa.org right now it should navigate to projects about and then support then docs then downloads right okay now i have quit the driver right so let me see the results see here test has been run failure zero skipped zero right that's great so now if you refresh this right see here you will get the new video with the proper time stamp all these details have been already mentioned in the screen recorder right so you don't need to do any uh, anything for that what you need to do here is now let's see how your uh, test has been recorded org projects right support docs 
right so i have started the recording if you see here start recording and stop recording let me try to explain you this particular steps right so what i have done is before browser opening i have started the recording and after the download button has been clicked i have stopped recording please remember both the steps are very important right if you don't stop the recording then your your video will not be going to be created right so please please take care of both the options right or both the methods you need to mention it <clears throat> okay let me try to rerun one more time to show you how exactly it is working right so here right now there is only one video let me refresh it one more time see here right now only one uh, video right right now if you see the time 12:33 am right let me rerun the test then see here test runs one and zero pass right oh uh, zero failed and zero skipped right let me refresh it and see there is new video has been created at uh, 34 1234 right and this is 35 right so this is the video which has been created right so this is a way you can capture your test and you can see what went right and what went wrong if anything goes wrong you can see in video and you don't need to rerun and reproduce that particular defect which you are going to show to the developers right so i think this is the best way to capture the screen and uh, capture the complete test thanks for watching my video if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and also like my videos thank you